What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. People saying 600 Breezy, dry snitching. He telling. He doing some messy shit. He putting things on Vaughn he shouldn't be doing. I hear the rumblings. We all see it in the comment section. We see it. It's kind of hitting the internet strong. This Vlad TV interview he did. Don't get me wrong. We get it. We hear it, you know. Especially the fact that he's telling stories that a lot of people never heard. Especially the story where King Von called him and told him, NBA young boy sending some niggas over there right now to send the blitz. We see that shit. That was never told before. We didn't know that. That kind of opened up our mind to see that maybe NBA young boy was behind a lot of this bullshit that went on. Uh, now he tells the story of basically, you know, if King Von was here, you know, he would have probably did life in jail, you know, off a RICO charge. A lot of people say that's draft snitching. Me personally, I don't think 600 Breezy tell it. I don't think this draft snitching. I get it. It's a culture where you gotta, you can't talk about nothing. I think that's a little bit too tight. You know, the man is not talking about basically uh, saying somebody did something. You get what I'm saying? He's just saying something that we all probably didn't talk about. I just said this in previous blogs. Out of all the old black guys, we clearly know who Duck Arch Nemesis was. You know, this is not telling. This is clear public records. This shit all on the internet. So, you know, to say that Vaughn would have been involved in this case, it's not really that far-fetched, to be honest with you. You know, I didn't say that before. Now, I do get it to just be putting shit on Vaughn while Vaughn not here no more to defend his name. I clearly get that. You know, now, don't get me wrong. I clearly get that. But I think 600 Breeze is sitting down. He's doing an interview. It's an interview format, conversation format. He's sitting down. He's talking to Vlad. Uh, he's promoting his album. We all know what's going on. Uh, I think he has the right to sit down and tell his story, you know, instead of letting somebody else tell his story. He just told you what he thought he seen. He basically told you what y'all probably be seeing in the barbershop and back y'all when y'all having the barbecues. You know, it's not that far-fetched that people would believe King Von would have been involved in this indictment, according to the police. Now, in real life, he might not have had nothing to do with that, but it's not that far-fetched that the police would have pulled him in that. It's not that far-fetched that the FBG duck murder probably would have been the end of King Von's career. Let's just be honest. We got to be honest with ourselves. Now, I know, you know, that's kind of touchy, but let's just be honest. If King Von was here, it was probably a uh, 70% probability that his rap career was going to be over with off this FBG duck case. Let's just be honest with ourselves now. And I think Breezy sat down and told his truth. He not pointing at nobody saying, man, buddy ass killed, buddy, buddy ass killed, buddy. He's saying the police would have did something like that. You know, I clearly see that. I think in Chicago, everything get touchy. You know, shit like that. You tell somebody what your favorite bag of chips is, they be like, man, he tell it. Like, man, look, it's not that serious. I think telling is being in the courtroom, saying some shit to a police officer or a judge that's going to get somebody locked up. I think sitting down in an interview, giving your opinion on something um, that can't do anything to nobody because somebody's not here already. I don't. I don't really see that as a bad thing, you know, in my opinion, you know. But uh, that's kind of like saying, you know, if Nipsey Hussle was still alive and they had guns around, you know, if it was gun, if Nipsey would have had a gun on him, Nipsey would have blew his shit off, you know, before dude would have came back. You know, I don't think somebody saying that is, you know, insinuating Nipsey would have did something, you know. It might not be the same Example, but in my opinion, I feel this is the same example. I don't think Breezy was trash snitching. Now, don't get me wrong. He might be a little bit guilty of talking too motherfucking much, you know. He might be a little bit guilty of talking too much. A little bit too much. But I don't think he was telling, in my opinion. But I'm going to leave it up to y'all. That's what's dope about this. I'm going to take it away from me. I'm going to throw it on y'all, man. I'm going to ask y'all. I'm going to be all in the comment section. The top comment, I'm going to pee in that joint too, man. But I'm going to be all in the comment section. I want to know in y'all opinion. Y'all been watching some of this interview with 600 Breezy. Do you consider this dress snitching? Do you consider 600 Breezy uh, to be on these interviews he telling? Do you feel like Kayla B when she say he needs to stop doing these interviews? Or do you feel like this 600 Breezy story, this is life, this is testimony, he has the right to sit down in the interview format and tell his story? I'd love to know what you think. It's the only two-teller street border.